Hey there, Nick Jatakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to troubleshoot an exec format error when running a Docker container. So maybe you just ran a container and you see this error here. In this case, it's pointing to bash, but maybe in your case, it's pointing to a different process, such as a web application server or whatever container you are trying to run. Now, there's two likely culprits for causing this error. The first one is a CPU architecture mismatch. For example, maybe the image was only built with AMD 64 CPU architecture support, but you're trying to run this container on an ARM 64 CPU. For example, if you have something like an M3 or an M4 or an M2 or whatever, you know that is an ARM-based CPU. It's just going to not work if the image was built with AMD 64 or vice versa. Now, as an image creator and publisher, you know, if you put something up on the Docker Hub, whatever, it is a really good idea to build your images with multiple CPU architecture support. And I've done videos about that one in the past if you want to check it out here because then yeah more folks can just run your image there uh, but yeah in this case you know actually what happens when you need to build an image with a different architecture so let's cover how we can actually do that and demonstrate that but let's actually demonstrate this error to begin with here so for example you know i don't have an arm based cpu here but yeah let's just run something like uh i don't know docker container run you know let's go interactive mode remove the container uh, after it finishes completing here i'm just going to run debian bookworm slim i just happen to have this image available at the time of recording this video that's the latest version of Debian here, but you know, this should pop me into a prompt here, right? It's a shell prompt and that's good. And the Docker client on my machine right now knows what CPU architecture I have. Now the folks who produce the Debian image on the Docker hub here, it does support multiple CPU architectures, but I don't need to explicitly define them what I want because yeah, the Docker client knows what to do here, but we can actually override that behavior if you want here by setting, setting an environment variable. So if we do Docker default platform here, you know, again, let's just do it so it works again. So I actually have an AMD 64 based CPU. So I'm just going to set that. And you know, this should produce the same result as we saw before here. You know, everything is working nicely here, but now, you know, let's say I try to run the ARM 64 version of this image here, which I also pulled down ahead of time. So we don't need to wait for for on video here. But yeah, in this case here, look, it's like exec format error with bash because it's like, well, the bash shell can't be run in a different CPU architecture than I have. Now, if you're watching this video and you happen to have something like an M3 or whatever, then uh, this ARM64 version or the default command is going to work for you. But uh, yeah, the AMD64 version is not. So we can do uh, another thing here to like troubleshoot whether or not this is the exact problem in your case too. You can do something like, you know, a Docker image inspect here, and then you can inspect some image that you have. For example, you know, just going back to that Debian bookworm example. So if we do bookworm slim here and we inspect that image, then here you can see the CPU architecture happens to be ARM64 because, you know, we just ran the ARM64 version here. And, uh, you know, again, like I don't have that CPU architecture here. But yeah, in this case, you know, if your image is not working due to that error, then uh, yeah, you would see a CPU architecture that is not your system here. So then you have a couple of options there, right? Maybe you can rebuild the image using your CPU architecture of choice, using that environment variable that we just saw before, you know, just as a reminder, you know, that would be doing this because, you know, in this case, we're doing a container run, but you can also do a build here as well. And again, I've done videos in the past on how to build multi uh, architecture supported images, even going through GitHub Actions, if you just want to have a more permanent solution here, because really, you know, this is kind of, at least in my opinion, like a one-off just to get past some situation that you have. Like for example, you know, on a company laptop, I do have an M2 Air, which is, you know, ARM64 here, but our application servers are running on AMD 64 hardware. So, you know, there have been times where on my laptop, I've built an image like this, you know, just saying like, okay, I actually, what I really want to do is override this, build an AMD 64 version of the image. Then I put it up in a pre prod environment because I want to skip our CI platform, whatever, just as like a one-off to see something work. So, you know, it is pretty handy to be able to set that once in a while. But yeah, that's basically going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.